Oh, novice heard. I'll be able to hit. He's swinging right side, hard right with the bomb. Wow. One, one's on his head. I think last I saw him, he's still there. He's still there. What's up, guys? Today we're doing an operator guide on how to play as Hibana. We're going to be talking all about how to use your Hibana pellets, how to win more matches, and rank up while playing as Hibana. Let's get to it. Let's go through the loadout first. Here you have the Type 89, which is a really good gun. You can have a 1.5, 2x, or 2.5. However, the 1.5 is, is better at short range and like long range options. So and then you have flash header, muzzle break. I mean, you're gonna run flash header on this. Then you have vertical grip or angled. I recommend the vertical grip because the recoil does kind of spray out occasionally sometimes. So you're definitely gonna want to be able to control that slightly. It's a good gun, but it only has 20 bullets. But uh, 40 damage, 855 rate, it's not really going to let you down. Then you have the Supernova. Definitely a solid shotgun option. This shotgun is, is one of the best shotguns of the game in terms of range. But most of the time, you're going to be focused on this gun. Unless you have a very specific play in mind where you need to get up close and personal, you might run that. Because you do have a decent backup. You have the Bearing 9. You can run the pistol as well. But I definitely recommend the Bearing 9. It's not going to let you down. It's uh, secondary. And then you have... Uh, flashbangs or breaching charges. Most of the time, you are going to be running flashbangs for ADS burn or, or to like clear out a room as you push. But uh, breaching charges are a nice option if you do need to work vertical or, or whatever. So, most of the time, you are though going to be running flashbangs. All right, now let's talk about Ibana's ability the Kairos launcher. So you're going to have 18 shots of this. You can shoot them in sets of six, four, or two reason why you want to shoot them in different sets i mean if you have a lot of things to open you only need a certain amount to open other things like if there's a reinforced hatch you're only going to need four if you feel like they're impact tricking or they're destroying your pellet some way only shoot two at a time or if you just want like a line of sight in a wall that might be reinforced you just shoot two in the wall they'll pop it open now let's talk about how to make a walkable breach because that's obviously not walkable it will give you an angle but there's not much else you can do on that. So a walkable breach, you don't necessarily have to shoot six, but one thing you, you can do is do boom, and you also do six right underneath of it. So the easiest way to use it is that way. These are in the least amount of pellets possible. What I do is I do four. I do four. And then I would also do two there. You won't be able to vault that, but you are going to be able to get through it like that. The reason why I do this last two is if I want to like just get a little bit of a different angle. Just you only need four and four to be able to crouch through it. And uh, yeah, that's how the Kairos launcher works. It's pretty simple and straightforward. The tricky part is going throughout the map and opening hatches. Ibana is going to be one of the main breachers in the game to like open up the hatches because again, you are or are only going to need four pellets for reinforced hatch. So let's say they're downstairs in the basement here. I can open that hatch. I can open the meeting hatch and the security hatch right here and have plenty of pellets left to spare. So let, let's say I open all the hatches and they have a mirror. I come down here. I can shoot two pellets on the mirror and it will destroy the mirror. It is easy for defenders to shoot these off though. And it won't open the utility that you want to, but uh, you have quite a few pellets, so we're going to show why that is one of the most effective ways of opening on almost any map. So why Ibana and not Thermite or Ace? Well, Ace is able to open this wall, but Thermite obviously not. The wall right there, boom, I can get this as Ibana. Yeah, open that up and you're going to have a line of sight when they're up top in CEO. That's going to help out a lot. You can use it to shoot open the castles as well. I usually use two pellets to open the castle. So I'll do a two pellet or two pellet wherever, wherever the castles are going to be at. And down here, if there is a Mira, I personally like bringing Hibana specifically the countering Mira and Mira is such a strong operator. 
lot of times a mirror player will be like here that wall you have located on this bomb. bomb site so let's say i open up let's do some of this boom boom giving us a plant spot i also want a line of sight there pretend these walls are reinforced be able to blast right through it open that get the pellets on the mirror the mirror will get open the bottom will be able to run out and shoot that or throw a nitro or impact and if you have enough pellets you just keep shooting two pellets at a time and uh they're go probably going to run out of explosives before you run out of pibana pellets just be mindful of how many pellets you are using and then i can just go in and go for a plant all right now we're going to go through another reason why to bring hibana is how to get past a cade hatch you're going to be in a situation like this where the uh, hatch is going to be cated and if it's surrounded by soft flooring you are able to do this so let's watch the clip all right because inspired by my teammates and ranked we're going to show you guys how to ibana the hatch open let's go you do two bolts at a time the reason why you shoot two pellets at a time if they throw impacts or nitros you are going to do, lose your pellets but you're going to have enough pellets to just keep on shooting they're going to run out of explosives and in fact you can do this entire trick from the freezer door you don't need to actually walk inside this room so you're able to do this all from the freezer door i'm showing specifically here exactly how it's working so it, it blows up and it has a tiny radius that it'll destroy the cave claw underneath and then you shoot two pellets on the hatch put a hole it'll put a hole in the hatch but it won't open but when you do four the hatch will get opened so that's just a really quick and easy way on clubhouse how to open a hatch that is cated so you aren't going to need to bring anything else other than hibana to open this hatch that's why hibana is banned occasionally on clubhouse but if Hibana is on the board, you are able to open like this. Now let's go through some Hibana gameplay. Yep. Using the 2x here. Two down. Another reason why I like Hibana, being able to breach from long range. I mean, that's kind of the immediate draw. So I'm hibonning that wall to give myself more angles from the solar repel. Ross has no idea that wall is open. Goes down. And then I bring out the flashbangs to flash him out as I swing in. He isn't able to deal with me. And all these clips are in champion ranked elo. So this is going to apply to almost every rank. So here I open up the hatch like I showed you guys on Clubhouse. I just dropped the hatch. Being aggressive, this gun is really good. I love that the fact that Ibana is a three speed, so you can get up in there very fast and just be aggressive. And the Baron is a really good sidearm, so even if you run out of ammo, you are able to still defend yourself fairly effectively. So a lot of times I'll make an aggressive play like this, and I won't necessarily go for a reload. I'll just whip the Baron out. If I have time to reload, I will because this gun puts people down extremely quickly, but you do have a good option and it is fast to bring out your sidearm, uh, faster, faster than reloading. So it came out as well. You see another one there. I have a second to reload a little bit sloppy there, but we take him out and another one coming down the main and I go plant in the dark spot under the hatch. Here we have another round on clubhouse. So here I opened up dirt with my Hibana pellets and I push in. One angle on dirt, we take one out on the shield. So I'm gonna tell you guys a trick about how to fight this guy in shield. So if they're on the left side, like they just were, I mean, obviously you just, you know, pre-fire, you take him out. But if he is playing behind the shield, if you walk up, he's not gonna be able to peek you from the right side of the shield, right? He's, he can't peek you from the right side of the shield because you'll see him move over. If he stands up, then you just rip his head off. It's really hard for him to get a perfect angle on you and you're going to be able to see exactly where that person is behind the shield. And if you get close enough, you are going to be able to see his head sticking over the top. So if he ever tries to throw utility like smoke or nitro at you, you are going to be able to just like take his, take his head clean off. But we do take him out there.
If I see another one behind the shield, I push forward and I put myself at an angle that he has to swing out and uh, I anticipate it. I would take him out as well. We take that man out as well. So here, I mean, this gun is great. And then I love being aggressive, running in with that three speed just to try to find the last guy. But we do end up winning that round. Ibana is an amazing hard breacher because you do function like a entry after you get the walls open. Like that's why so many people like Ibana and Ace more as the hard breachers because their guns are just so strong that you are able to do so much more than just open a wall. Thermite is his gun is a little bit weaker, so most of the time you are going to be getting the wall and then you have to deal with, with using the 556, which hits hard, but it shoots pretty slow. All right, here's another clip while playing as Ibana, playing in FPL, facing Pro League AK with and against pros. And running the 2X here. Take him out. We push in. Mirror is open. We take another one out. All the flashbangs for this. Be able to push forward. I do get flashed, but he is also flashed here. Take him out as well. Push in and get a free kill. And the last one goes down just like that. All right, guys, that is it today on how to play as Hibana. So Hibana is one of the best hard breachers in the game. Going through the hard breaches, you're gonna have Hibana, you're gonna have the Ace, and you're going to have the Thermite. Thermite has to be right up against the wall and he only has two charges. Ace is only gonna have three and you are able to throw them. But Hibana's pellets has infinite range. They have infinite range so they can go wherever you want, wherever you need it to be. And we showed you guys that on bank. But uh, yeah, she's going to have a lot more pellets overall. So main hatch opener is going to be Hibana. And if you need to open walls safely from longer range, Hibana is going to be the go-to. All right, guys, that is it today on how to play as Hibana. Hope this helps. Make sure to subscribe, drop a comment, and leave a like down below for more if you learned something today. And uh, let me know what operator you guys want to see next. Peace out. Until next time.